Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at a relatively interesting item. Uh, it is a low level item and it does have a rather nice effect on it, which is really kind of the only reason why you would use it. And um, it is called the Coif of Glory. The Coif of Glory. So the Coif of Glory has some interesting effects on it. Um, it is a helm, and it has a defense of 25. A uh, strength requirement of only 26, which is relatively low. And a level requirement of only level 14, which is also relatively low. Uh, anybody who hits level 14 should have 26 strength to be able to put this on. So it is actually equipable by just about any character or uh, mercenary in the game. Um, it does have a really, really nice effect on it of Hits Blind's Target, uh, which is essentially the same effect as Dim Vision. And we'll explore that later in detail. Um, it has plus 10 defense. It also has plus 100%, uh, 100, not 100%, 100 defense versus missile, which actually comes in super handy in Act 2 difficulty in normal uh, versus those evil fire archers, which are trying to murder your very soul. Um, it has lightning resistance, 15% uh, on it, which is definitely very nice uh, to help you out with those scarabs in Act 2. And attacker takes lightning damage of 7, which at level 14 it will actually do some pretty significant damage. Um, you can also put a socket in it if you want to, it does not come with one. Um, you can find it in the ethereal version, which doesn't have too much of a defense bump from 25 to 33, but could be useful on a mercenary. Now, this particular helmet has a very amazing effect known as Hits Blind's Target. It also has an interesting graphic. I'm not sure if you guys can... Uh, you know what? Let's go back to the main menu and take a look at the graphic. I like to take a look at the graphics. They're pretty. See, this is the uh, this is the Coif of Glory. Very uh, interesting looking helmet, uh, all in all. Now, um, when you take this helmet out and you, uh, you punch some people... Um, which is probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to punch them because I don't want them to die. I want to I show you guys the effects. So uh, we're going to go to Frigid Highlands and I'm going to punch away, shall we? Alright, so if we uh, take our punching hand out and we, uh, and we go and punch some monsters, you will notice that we have the ability to blind them. When a target is blinded, they can only hit things that are within their light radius. Um, and to really give you a good idea of what this looks like, uh, let me take you into somewhere where it, it's very dark. And I might have to take off some of my equipment so that I'm not dishing out so much uh, fire damage. Apparently I have some sort of lightning damage or something coming from somewhere. I don't know what. Uh, I got 15 to 45 cold damage. There it is. Um, so in a dark zone, you can actually kind of see the effect of the monster's light radius being taken away from them. And um, and you notice how the monsters have this extremely small light radius. Um, when you walk within their light radius while they're blinded, they will be able to attack you. But if you are not within their light radius, um, they will not be able to hit you. Now the Coif of Glory will apply this blind effect on ranged attacks, melee attacks, uh, but not spells, uh, so keep that in mind. And the effect diminishes, unfortunately, uh, with the difficulty settings. So if I take this same character and I go to a Nightmare or Hell difficulty, um, you will notice that the, the Dim Vision lasts for far less amount of time um, due to the uh, sort of the increase in difficulty of the game. Uh, it's one of the ways that they make the game more difficult is they make effects last less time. Um, Hell difficulty tends to have things like this, where the monsters are just generally less, um, you know, more resistant to effects. Um, as you can see, one of them has already lost his uh, hit splines target, and it lasts nowhere near as long as it does in hell difficulty, but it still lasts a decent amount of time. Um, now, you can utilize this very well, like I said, with a ranged character, especially Amazons get very good use out of this in the form of things like multi-shot or strafe, uh, which can allow you to proc the hit splines target on multiple tar multiple targets. And, uh, and any target that is a ranged monster will no longer fire. So ranged monsters cannot attack while they are blinded unless they have a melee attack to, uh, to attack you with and only if you walk within melee range. So this is very interesting from the perspective of, say, archers, uh, the spear cats, um, the spike fiends, all sorts of ranged monsters which are particularly nasty 
by the way, um, will be essentially neutered with this particular item. Because when they are blind, they can no longer throw their spears or shoot their bows, and, uh, and, and you can essentially make them relatively useless. Uh, this can also work very well on a bow girl mercenary uh, so that she can have the blinding effect as she fires her arrows. So also very, very nice. All in all, Coif of Glory is one of those really nice helmets that when you find it, um, you generally end up using it specifically on whatever character uh, needs it the most. So, you know, if you're in a ladder group, you're going to give it to your Amazon probably. Um, if you are in, uh, you know, like by yourself, solo self-found, you're going to think about whether the hit splines target is really what you specifically need. As a melee character, I tend to find it as not so great, just simply because um, when you're in melee range, they're always going to be fighting you back. Um, it's, it seems to be developed more toward a ranged character in general. Uh, Blade Fury Assassins could also get good use out of this, by the way. Now, um, you can, of course, upgrade these. Uh, I'm not exactly sure that you should upgrade this particular helmet, uh, but we, of course, uh, on these videos, are going to anyway... <laughs> Because that is what we do. So we're going to need a shale, a towel, and a perfect diamond to perform this upgrade. And uh, we're going to upgrade both the ethereal and the uh, regular version and see what kind of uh, effects we get. So the Coif of Glory uh, regular version, and let me move myself out of the way so I can... You can see this better. It's going to go from 25 defense, 26 strength, level 14 to 75 defense, 59 strength, level 30. So not a bad upgrade. Um, it did go up by basically, what, uh, 16 levels, uh, but the defense did go up quite nicely, and the strength requirement didn't go up so much to make it uh, untenable. Now, the ethereal version is not going to upgrade as well, unfortunately, because it has no enhanced defense on it, uh, but it will get that still get that 50% bonus from being ethereal. So we're going to go from 33 defense, 16 strength, level 14, to 104 uh, defense, 49 strength, level 30. Uh, not exactly the greatest upgrade, but if you were utilizing this on a mercenary, you did happen to find an ethereal one, could be a good upgrade just to give your mercenary a little bit more survivability as you go toward the end of normal difficulty. Now, to upgrade this a second time, you're going to need some rather expensive runes, uh, which is a limb rune, a co rune, and a perfect diamond. Now, this particular recipe um, is expensive enough that it becomes prohibitive, and, uh, and I probably would not perform this upgrade on this particular helmet, just simply because it tends to shine at the lower levels and not so much in the higher levels. Also, the strength requirement is probably going to go up too high uh, that make it prohibitive to use, so we'll keep that in mind as well. Uh, so we're starting out as a Coif of Glory cask with 75 defense, 59 strength, and level 30. And we go to the Coif of Glory Armet, which is 128 defense, 109 strength, and level 63. So not exactly a good upgrade there. Uh, let's try the uh, Coif of Glory cask from 104 defense, 49 strength, level 30. To the Coif of Glory Armet, Ethereal, 179 defense, 99 strength, level 63. Now, if you were specifically trying to give your mercenary the hits blinds target effect and you just didn't have any other way to get it to get it done i could maybe see upgrading an ethereal version twice and then maybe socketing it and putting like a 15 percent ias jewel or something in here uh, just so that they have the hits blinds target along with the ias uh, but i can't really for the life of me kind of like work that out in my head what kind of situation that would that would work with hits blinds target doesn't really work so well on a mercenary that it's like amazing anyway it's more one of those things that um just kind of like, yes, sometimes would like to have it, but not all the time. Um, many, many characters actually don't really care about Dim Vision, but, uh, but some do. Uh, take, for instance, um, the Gloams in, um, you know, in, in uh, Crystalline Passage or Frozen River. Uh, in Frozen River, the Gloams do tons and tons of damage. If you blind them, they won't shoot any lightning. Um, it could be very, very useful to have this on hand for situations like that. Maybe you don't use it as your main helmet, but maybe you have it around in case you end up in a game with gloams in it, and then you shoot this off into the distance with uh, you know some, some guided arrows or, or strafe or multi-shot or whatever it is that you happen to have to blind the gloams so the gloams can't shoot lightning back at you, which is a really, really effective measure. Um, in Hell Difficulty, several times I did Frozen River with a necromancer who was not quite up to par just simply by casting, um, you know, 
dim vision off in the distance to make sure that the monsters couldn't uh, couldn't shoot lightning back at me. Now let's take a look and see uh, where we could potentially find the Coif of Glory um, if we wanted to uh, hunt for one. It is a specialized item enough that I can see hunting for it, but as a low-level character, we're probably not going to have any magic find yet, and uh, we're probably going to be hunting rather specifically in normal difficulty. So let's go to Silo's Pen. Bink! So here we are over on Silo's Pen, and uh, we're going to take a look and see uh, which monsters could potentially be a good choice for us. So first off, let's look at bosses with 0% magic find, um, and let's assume we're trying to find ourselves a Coif Glory. Maybe we're on an Amazon or something. Um, and it uh, looks like Diablo and Mephisto are kind of our best bets here as far as normal difficulty are concerned. Uh, perhaps farming uh, Mephisto over and over again could yield us a Coif of Glory, which we could then take with us into the rest of the game. Um, unfortunately, at level 14, you would probably want this a little sooner than, um, than that. Duriel does have a chance to drop it, uh, but Duriel is a little bit of a troll as far as uh, drops are concerned. If you guys have never seen it, he literally drops six scrolls of Town Portal. I, I have been there, literally watched it happen, and then laughed myself silly uh, afterwards. Um, let's take a look at other monsters in normal difficulty. So we've got the Summoner, very hard to farm. Fangskin, he's not very easy to farm. Um, Fire Eye is actually pretty easy to farm. He's in Palace Solo out of a three. Uh, what you do is you just go through the Arcane Sanctuary portal, and you take the portal back to Palace Cellar Level 3, and Fire Eye is always guarding the door of the portal. So he's right there near the portal, um, right when you exit the door. Uh, so that could be a uh, interesting choice, uh, specifically for trying to get yourself a uh, early game Coif of Glory. Uh, we also have Dark Elder, who is always in Lost City. He is sometimes near the Ancient Tunnels um, entrance, although uh, not always. And then Beetle Burst, of course, also is in Far Oasis, also um, kind of random, but he's always in Far Oasis. You just kind of have to, to go around and see if you can find him. Um, Ancient Ka the Solus is in the False Tomb, and he's a little bit hard to find, so not exactly a good farming spot, unless you're just specifically uh, doing every single tomb, in which case you'll probably come across Ancient Ka the Solus at some point. Um, Radamant, also not really the greatest to farm. He's a little bit difficult to get to and stuff. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. I mean, if you're in of Act 4, Grand Visor of Chaos, Infector of Souls, and Lord Deceased have pretty decent chances. Um, and if you've already reached Act 5, it does look like Eldritch, the Rectifier, uh, Doc Farron, uh, Pindle Skin, um, as well as the normal Cow King has a pretty good chance as well, so interesting. Uh, so a lot of a lot of opportunities to get your hands on a coif of glory if you're looking specifically to find one. Um, there are other items in the game that do have the blind target effect. Um, some of them are unique items. Some of them are set items. Some of them are uh, are, are crafted. Uh, you know, like a rune words. But um, I can think of one right off the top of my head, which is a uh, a shield. I can't remember the shield right off the top of my head, but I do know that there is a small shield. Um, in Diablo 2, uh, that has the Hits Blinds target effect, and, uh, the Umbral Disc, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, let me look at this list real quick just to make sure, yes. The Umbral Disc has Hits Blinds target on it as well, if you're looking for Hits Blinds target in a different form. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my video, uh, even when I am out for glory, um... <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching, and uh, keep watching.